is the issue of water because which I believe and they're based on the quality and the quality of water that's available for them right so let, that's number one thing so let's look at the water issue outside first to get a supply of water from a borehole that's sunken deep in there but this looks like a swampy place this is the gamma where they're in the gamma in the heartland of the of the job people thank god when they sunk the ball they didn't come across crude oil or petroleum i think they well thank god for that since we needed water not petrol but i would have preferred it to be petrol so that we abandon this place and and start prospecting for 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 fuel but thank god it's water now the water from the ball goes up to meet about four four major tanks now these tanks are about uh, about four thousand liters each and that is really significant you can see the real neat structure that is used in placing the the tanks up there one two and then on the sides we have three four there now what's this bulging on the sides at the bottom now because the water of course it's important imperative for you to do a water test to know the, the whether your water will be able to be conducive for the fish two things happen to water really one is either polluted by uh, by the fact that it's under the hard crust so there's this carbon dioxide that actually makes the water acidic because of the uh, rainfall that's coming down that is even acidic and contaminated so most waters are acidic and you know fish need water that's about 6.5 to 8 ph now from this farm i think their water is about ph of about five which will probably lead to the water uh, the water killing the fingerlings when they're about the third or the fourth week so what do we do the next thing is either to treat with sodium bicarbonate or to now load materials into what you call an alkalizer so this is an alkalizer we have about two of them there now it's a very slightly simple but complex material inside there we have shells we have zeolites and we have supplementary carbon so the water so we'll talk about this alkalizer in a short while so before we talk about the alkalizer let's look at the plumbing systems for the water that supplies the whole place now the borehole comes from right from uh, down over there and then comes straight like that coming down to this place now of course naturally water flows at the lowest point so this particular one runs straight into the into the new pond set pond that they made while goes up straight into the overhead tanks to supply water as a reserve for the main production pond there now as a matter of fact the ponds out there need a 17 point uh, five cubic meters of water as replacement 10 percent because almost about 170 something cubic meters all in all so i think these tanks would just be ideal to serve this particular pond i think it's left for the entrepreneur to now go ahead and use and, and use discretion to make more more water reservoirs to help his uh, operations